chamber is. <sighs> well, since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Yes, this must be the way. trespasses on these hallowed grounds. Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningwan's plan all along. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a Melolith ambush here to arrest us. Uh, now Paimon's mad. You, over there. This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless! What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! Ah! <laughs> Animal test! <laughs> Animal hyperspace! Who goes there? Attack! Animal test 6308! By Royal Time for... Retribution Channel! Absorption test. Take the target alive. Stand clear. Time for retribution. Yeah. 
Stop! What's all this about? Lady Kuching, these two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Lira Qixing. Who are you? Well, as it happens, I am one of the Li Yue Qixing. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Qixing. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery, even to the Chising. Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Qixing? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. How surprisingly civilized of them. Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyu Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyu? <sighs> Another super bold statement! <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Li Yue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Liu's culture. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion, and well then, may we meet again, traveler. Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night. Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? Nope! But Paimon's sure that we just
just need to make it with some boom shakalaka. Let's go gather ingredients. Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. Understand. Don't say that. I'm Mung Dan. As I never expected that the. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antique. Wait a moment. Oh? Do you have a box that. Of course we do. <laughs> now just give me a moment. Great. Many of the best good here. This. Yep, yep, yep. Hang on a moment. Can we borrow one other thing? Sure. Please help yourselves. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. If we use an antique as our. It's done! Oh, yes. You... Woohoo! It looks beautiful! Great! Yes. How many would you like? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Yep. And yet the code that you...
I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joy and Karst. <gasps> it's Ningguang! Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, for me. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing! This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianquan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, it was but the size of one room. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting Grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius who spoke highly of you. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? And I finally got wind of your movements. Uh, wait, was Virgildet one of your people? <laughs> Just Virgildet? No, everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. <laughs> hmm. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects, do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back, to play the spider while our foes scurry about. But who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, Traveler? Huh? What are you two talking about? Well answered. Uh, huh? <sighs> The scenery out here is fine indeed, but the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete. So please, this way.
you two. Can we really? I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Oh, isn't this that legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I th That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets, but the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. If possible, I'd like to have your trust, but if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... <laughs> you'd pick Kuching? I originally thought her a bit too hard-headed. With someone of her character on the Chising, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by room- Indeed. It I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation, and also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for their right so they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Of course. Byman's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include us? <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. Yay! Paimon was just waiting for you to say that! Let's see, what should we get? <gasps> One of the sheets on that wall! Don't look at Paimon like that! One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail! Just imagine, how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for! Let's grab one! The biggest one! Huh? Well, that was an easy... La 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 la! Let's see what's written on it, huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich! Let's see what's written over here. Sigil of permission, something, something, Fatui, research, copy. Huh? Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. <gasps> this piece of paper shows that a chasing spy discovered traces of classified Fatui research on the sigil of permission. Oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. But research on the sigil of permission? Paimon wonders what they're up to. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the sigil of permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. Oh, you really think so? Well, should we not go then? Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says? Hmm. Mm, anyway, well, um, before we...
Right on time. I might. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? It was so big. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? She's super rich and so. Yeah, her take on. Oh. So you. She said? <laughs> Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart, although she's friendly. There's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Yes, she has only relied- It's said that she's the one behind- The Jade Chamber is only- Why, Mora, of course. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. Hmm. No matter what they- So, is there anything- Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today- Glaze lilies. Oh, right! Paimon- No. 
The Dihua Marsh used to be f before the Archon. Of course, there are some wild glaze lilies, but I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. No, I need you to sing to them. Singing to the flowers will make them more fragrant. We'll only know when she starts singing. It's time to sing whenever you're ready. Da 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 da. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Hmm. The glaze lilies you... Well, that's... Unfortunately... Uh, that's so... Excuse me. Are you searching for glaze lilies? Oh, hey, it's... What's your face? Uh... Time and care... Hello, traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. Ah, oh, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chick? Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. Nope. We found the way on our own. Oh, I see. Uh-oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. Something's... She's acting different from the first time we met. Oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. Yes, now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first Seven. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. He is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this? Fair huh? This... this is a little sudden. As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis, but as an Adeptus. Huh? Did you just say, as an Adeptus? Yes, I... 
I am a mix of human and Chilin. After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've conti- Well, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. <laughs> we dare not refuse it. Oh, so did you sing a song? Indeed, I did. Wow, so you really know you No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly fit. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks, in more ways than one. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Leo. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. Wow. See? Xiaoli sounds like he's already seen it all. Alright, I think it's about time we head back to Liyue Harbor now. <laughs>